Hello students, my name is Alok and uh, I am discussing David J. Griffith on our Pravega channel. So last time I told you about the preface in which uh, I told you about what type of conventions will be used in this book. And uh, this time I am moving to the next section that is advertisement. So in advertisement, uh, uh, Professor Griffith has discussed that how you will see electrodynamics in the scheme of physics. So in general uh, physics, what we see that we have four realms of mechanics. Okay, so mechanics is divided into four categories. So classical mechanics, uh, whose basis is Newtonian mechanics, followed by Lagrangian and Hamiltonian dynamics, and then quantum mechanics, uh, in which the particle is really small, and the classical mechanics fails and at that very very small scale you need a new kind of mechanics developed by Bohr, Heisenberg and Schrodinger and when the velocities are really really fast I mean it is close to velocity of light then you need special relativity developed by Einstein and then quantum field theory developed by Dirac, Pauli, Feynman, Swinger and etc in which the particle is moving fast also and uh, the particle is very small also. So this is uh, the general view of mechanics. So I will tell you later on that initially whatever is given in Griffith will fit into the classical domain. So and later on you will see little bit of uh, relativity also applied to uh, electromagnetic theory. But the beauty of electromagnetic theory is slowly and slowly all these new uh, discoveries they fit into it as if already there was a scope for it. So that is the beauty of the formulation of electromagnetic theory and all other fields are inspired by this formulation. Okay. So now uh, coming to uh, if you see uh, classical mechanics in general you know in our daily life most of the things they follow classical mechanics and especially Newtonian mechanics and it fails when the object is moving very very fast uh, that means moving at near uh, speed of light and then you have to incorporate this special theory of relativity okay then quantum mechanics where uh, you know object is very small near to size of atom and here uh, to these small objects uh, the Newtonian mechanics does not work and the quantum field theory where uh, the object is very small also and it is moving really fast it was developed in 1930s and 40s and uh, here you combine the principle of relativity and quantum mechanics okay so uh, still a lot has to be done in this uh, realm of quantum field theory okay so then uh, the author summarizes everything uh, into four kind of forces which we use in mechanics so you know in mechanics the velocity is there acceleration is there and the background is that rate of change of momentum is force so to our surprise, this whole world affairs can be divided into only four kind of forces. So you see such a small list, the strong force like between proton, 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 neutron, it is a very short range force. So that's why we don't feel it. It works between them. Then electromagnetic force, then weak force. Uh, we used to explain uh, the radioactivity etc and then the gravitational force we already know the forces between the masses between the stars between the planets between between two different masses okay so uh, in such a small list uh, if we start thinking uh, where are these things gone for example in which category this frictional force will go. Uh, 
where will that normal reaction which we make in mechanics in which category it will go which help us to walk and to stand and where will the chemical forces the the forces between molecules forces between atoms will go and uh, when two billiard ball collide where will that impact force go in which category it will go and the answer to all these question is electromagnetic theory which is the subject of this book okay so uh, you know uh, this sequence is in the like this is strong force is the strongest then comes electromagnetic force then comes weak force and then comes gravitational which is a very very feeble force very very weak force but uh, you know the world around us what we observe most of the things will happen because of uh, either electromagnetic force most of them around us uh, atoms molecules etc and or you know forces between stars and uh, big objects will be dominated by the gravitational force and if you calculate the force between two electrons because of gravitation and because of this electrostatics you will find that electromagnetic force is 10 to the power uh, almost uh, 42 times stronger than the uh, gravitational force which is very very weak in comparison to electromagnetic force i will give you one example like if hydrogen atom you know is a stable electron is there proton is there if you want that amount of force from gravitational gravitational force then the size of that hydrogen atom will be the size of the universe so such as uh, weak force is this uh, gravitational force so uh, now uh, it is fixed that out of these four forces we are going to move into the electromagnetic force and from next uh, video i will start discussing the tools that are required for electromagnetic theory and we know that those tools are actually vector calculus so i will start uh, discussing the first chapter which is vector calculus in my next video and students please subscribe our channel and in comment section please tell me what kind of information you want as my videos progresses uh, please suggest me to improve them okay thank you so much